It is a Nissan GTR Nismo edition for the 2017 model year from the modelers. It is today's What's in the Box. Hey everyone, welcome into another What's in the Box look. And today we are taking a look at the 2017 Nissan GTR Nismo edition from the modelers. This is now this is going to be a full risen kit, another one of their full risen kits. Uh, released uh, not too long ago, so it's still fresh, still has that fresh released smell to it. Okay, that's really not even a thing, but anyways. So let's take a look and see what is in the box. And there you can see what it looks like when you pull that uh, lid cover off. Everything is there. Uh, obviously, there's some more uh, parts and decals and stuff are going to be underneath that tray, underneath the uh, uh, instruction sheet and getting things started with the body and before we actually start looking at the body we're going to pop it off and we're going to take a look at the uh, interior piece like the previous kits they've done the interior part of the interior is molded to the chassis plate interior detail decent I'll flip it over and look at the other side real quick okay that out of the way let's get to the body turn it over now we're going to move on and take a look at some of the other bits of this kit. We're going to start with the wheels and tires. There's a couple of things I wanted to point out. First the risen tires. It's going to be the front side and the back side. You notice there's that lip on the inside. Wheels are good. I mean the casting is great. No real complaints. And the brake rotors. There are uh, photo watch, there's a photo watch set in this kit and we'll get to that later but there are. One thing I wanted to point out and uh, earlier, um, you notice there's that nice space between the wheel and the tire, and I've checked all of them, and they all have that space. So we're gonna have to try and figure out how to uh, solve that. I mean, once you get everything painted up, it won't even it might be might not even be noticeable. But some of the interior bits you have the side panels, the door panels your dash and your seat. So we'll start with so we'll taking a look at the door panels real quick. Oh well, the casting is very impressive, very detailed. The detail is very nice so far as what I'm seeing. Which I'm glad because it's like a ninety dollar kit so I'm would hope the detail would be good. Rear shelf piece center section. The dashboard Now this piece, all these pieces, this piece stays on there because that attaches to the in, underside of the inside of the body. I'm actually really impressed with the uh, quality of the seats. They look great. Very nice looking seats. A little bit of uh, some mold lines and stuff that you might, that'll need to be sanded off. Overall very impressive. And they all have little mounting tabs underneath that slide into the holes on the uh, interior there. It'll be the rear seat. And also has a mounting tab there on the bottom. And moving on, more bits to look at. This will be what we'll call the radiator piece and the wing. They're made up of two pieces, the actual wing part, you see here. And then this other piece right here. What happens is it works like this and then it's sets down and that little piece sits into the deck lid. That piece will need to come off, of course. Moving right along, now we're going to take a look at some of the rest of the parts that are in the bags. I'm not going to take the parts out of the bag, we're just going to look at them inside the bag. You should be able to get an idea of what exactly is in there. Up first will be this bag here that's going to contain what looks like we got the steering wheel, uh, the pedals, shifter knobs, armrest thing, steering column, that baggie there. 
to the next one we have the exhaust tips and some exterior trim pieces is what it looks and moving right along to the last one we have the headlight buckets the side view mirrors and the wiper blades and moving along more parts there's going to be some clear pieces you have your headlight lenses and you need the tail light lenses are in there and the axle metal axle rods and the screws and now we're going to take a look at the photo etch sheet that is included up top there you have the window trim pieces the very very top uh, this is going to be more lenses uh, uh, headlight lenses or headlight bulb things if you will up there then of course you got your uh, grab the light here uh, brake rotor pieces there uh, photo etch grill and down here we have uh, the, those very bottom pieces 11 12 17 16 17 are the side marker lights front and rear parts 15 and 10 are uh, more headlight pieces that are going to go on the uh, headlight bucket blue 14 is the th uh, third mounted stoplight 18 and 13 there are the front indicators on the front fascia I think 40 I think four uh, I don't know what those are gonna be they look too big to be uh, paddle shifters but maybe they are I haven't actually looked at the, the instruction book yet. and moving right along to the window pieces there you can see no, no need of pulling them out of the baggie get them out. and finally taking a look at the decal sheets for the mirror faces this little one has contains all the uh, Nissan badging and emblems there it's a very nice looking decal sheet and onto the big decal sheet which consists of you got your carbon fiber uh, decals for the seat backs the seat uh, decals that go in the middle of the seats down here these are going to be the red piece the red trim that goes around the bottom separates the, the, the valances what not in the body so over here you have your interior decals and finally we want to take a look at the instruction booklet thingy So there you have it folks, that is the 2017 Nissan GTR Nismo edition from the modelers. On that note, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.